We are now honored to speak. Lately, I've been reflecting a lot on what's helped me make it through these past four years. What's helped me to pass classes harder than I could ever imagine, to learn new professional and academic norms, and to navigate a social world entirely different from what I've known before. Everyone has their own thing that can make a place feel like home. For some people, it's finding the right friends. For other people, it can be hearing their language. I was talking to my friend Richard's family the other day, and we realized that for us, it's food. So today, I want to talk about what the past four years as an ICS major at Duke have meant to me, using language that I think we can all understand, which is food. And there's one particular dish that has a lot in common with my experience here at Duke, which is called Fonker Chao Gaidan, Cantonese for tomato stir-fried with egg, or simply egg tomato. For those who haven't had the joy of experiencing it, it consists of fresh diced tomatoes stewed together lightly with lightly scrambled eggs, often served over white rice. It's an unpretentious meal that is simple, yet has the remarkable ability of tasting familiar no matter where you eat it. It just tastes like home. It's also the first thing that my grandmother taught me how to cook when I was 10 years old. Hi, Pavo. I think she is. <laughs> So here's a few important things about making this particular dish. First, the first thing that you learn when you cook this dish is that two plus two can equal five. The base ingredients separated are simply just tomatoes and eggs, but when they come together is when something magical happens, kind of like chicken and waffles. Here at Duke, classes push me to think critically about being in a globalizing world, as well as my own place in it but the other half of what I've learned has been entirely outside of the classroom. I got to do research in Hong Kong, exchange stories in Spanish with my English, tutor, English students who I've been tutoring, and take part in campus protests. If the ingredients in a Duke curriculum are engaging faculty and willing students, then our education here is way more than the sum of its parts. To witness, experience, and act is to add meaning to an education. The second thing that you learn is that there's some things you just can't rush. Turn the heat too high and you'll dry out the eggs. Skimp on stewing the tomatoes too long and you get chunks instead of a savory sauce. My mom has a saying that everyone has 24 hours in a day. As long as you're present and engaged in what's real to you, there's no one proper method of learning. The best ideas for papers have come through reflection, whether that's sitting on the C1 or in the shower thinking before a 10 a.m. class. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, there's no one right way to cook the dish. Through sharing recipes with friends over the years, I've seen that you can add garlic, you can chop in onions, you can vary the seasoning, you can even add sugar if you want. ICS's interdisciplinary approach has pushed me to challenge conventional ways of thinking. It has exposed me to more radical perspectives of history and culture. It has trained me to think critically about how the world ought to be rather than how it simply is. There was a time not too long ago when my transcript looked more like a Scrabble board than a report card, honestly speaking, with C's, W's, and S's instead of A's or B's. My brother and I will be the first in our family to graduate from college, and it's taken some time to learn that even if our path here is different than what's normally considered, it's not any less valid. So today, I just want to acknowledge my peers who may be people of color, who may be queer, first generation, or otherwise, who know the struggle of thriving at an institution not originally made for us. Sometimes the world tells us that we are not enough, that there's a way of talking that people will take more seriously, a way of dressing that doesn't stand out, or a name that you should use as more easily pronounceable. Act this way, dress this way, and you will be respected. But I'm thankful to have found an academic space that has challenged me to go against the grain. That our histories of migration are not just footnotes. They are, in fact, essential ingredients. We are the five spice powder, we are the fish sauce, and the garlic in the dish that makes a place like Duke great. Thank you. Food is a communal experience. 
Learning is a communal experience. I think I can speak for the rest of us here that none of us have made it here alone without our families or friends. And just like how there's more way, more than one way to cook an egg, even more with when you add tomato combination, the path to success is neither strict nor solitary. So to all the caregivers, the mothers, fathers, supporters, importantly the class of 2019, thank you and congratulations.